RoboCup is an international research competition born from the desire to hold a World Robotics Soccer Competition for research into artificial intelligence systems. The competition, RoboCup F180 League, or more commonly known as Small Size League, includes making small 180mm diameter robots to play 6 vs 6 or Thomas Soccer. The completed challenge explores the manufacturing and programming of a small size league robot to complete a technical challenge associated with gameplay, mainly a kicking challenge. For this challenge to be completed, the robot was required to locate, control and kick a ball at a designated goal while avoiding static obstacles representing other robots. A major or minor collision was graded based on the displacement of the obstacle. The project budget was set to be $160 with an additional $25 given for omnidirectional drive system requiring a third drive motor. The project was completed $30 under budget. The final robot design included an omnidirectional base powered by three equally spaced 3D printed and laser cut omniwheels. The high power motors chosen had a 210 to 1 gear ratio which allowed the robot to reach forward velocities above 0.3 meters per second. A custom built motor driver PCB used two L298 dual H-bridge drivers to power each of the drive and dribbler motors. The motors were overpowered to 7.4 volts to achieve maximum speeds. Also produced was a 5 volt regulator PCB which converted the 7.4 Lion battery power to 5 volts to power both the 5 volt motor driver logic and the Raspberry Pi. The chassis design was very dependent on the omnidirectional camera and mirror mount to maximize the vision's field of view. Brass and plastic standards were used to separate acrylic base plates with 3D printed motor mounts and mounting pieces for the PCBs. A dribbler was implemented in the design to control the ball once acquired. Using a series of rubber O-rings attached to a 3D printed bar, the dribbler was placed at optimal height on the robot to maintain contact on the ball. A 3 to 1 geared system was used to rotate the bar with a 30 to 1 geared motor used to operate the system. The dribbler was only turned on when the ball was acquired to conserve battery power. For the vision system, it was decided to use an omnidirectional catadioptric camera system to map the field. With a 360 degree field of view, the ball can be visible up to 1.5 meters away depending on the position of the robot. While highly accurate techniques could have been used for image processing, machine learning algorithms, edge detection, etc., for highly dynamic systems such as robotic soccer, fast and almost accurate results are better than slow and accurate ones. All image processing and feature extraction took place on the Raspberry Pi. Programmed in Python, the following control system was designed for the vision system as illustrated. Segmentation occurred via masking with the inputs being the frame converted to the HSV spectrum. The ball, objects, goals and walls were all segmented as blobs as each element of the environment was associated with a specific colour. The vision system consistently calculates and displays a bearing range of all segmented components in the environment as inputs to the navigation system. While the omnidirectional camera system increases the complexity of the overall robot design, the advantage of having the 360 degree camera view outweigh this complexity through greater ball detection chances, simplifying the ball finding algorithm and obstacle avoidance, especially coupled with the omnidirectional drive system. The state system created for the technical challenge comprised of three main components, finding the ball, orientation to goal, and kicking the ball at the designated goal while avoiding obstacles. The design of the ball detection and moving to ball system was implemented using an orbiting system. Instead of the robot heading towards the ball based on the bearing returned from the vision system, the robot would instead move in a plus or minus 45 degree movement until the ball rotated to a range between alpha and 360 degrees minus alpha with alpha set to 15. Also included was the obstacle detection system which comprised of an orbiting system around an obstacle. This was implemented through changing the robot's output angle to the desired angle by a certain amount to move in the desired location around the obstacle once in range. The final robot successfully was able to acquire the ball, avoid obstacles and push the ball into the goal.